Here's Brody Brazil. This is a very complicated situation between the A's and Oakland and Las Vegas and Major League Baseball and how it actually shakes out is going to be so interesting. And I realize at this point of uncertainty, there's a lot of questions and comments and speculations and theories like this one. How about if the A's relocate to Las Vegas and then MLB awards Oakland with a corresponding expansion franchise that we know is probably out there on the table for two cities across the United States. I'm here to tell you that I understand it. I I hear where you're coming from. I I can digest it, but I can't actually like accept it or agree that this is likely. And I know where you're getting it from because this has already happened before and not just across sports, but like literally specifically with the Oakland days when they moved from Kansas city That's how they got the Royals, because the A's relocated west. MLB said, here you go, in 1969, here's your Kansas City Royals. Not to mention, the A's started in Philadelphia. They're not exactly without a Major League Baseball team in the Phillies, so I get it. It's happened before, but please don't put all your eggs in this basket and think that this is a good way to keep Major League Baseball in Oakland. Do not count on this again. It was different back then. You had a lot of teams migrating out west, and you had the thought and theory that, okay, you'd replace some of them, right? Like Brooklyn never got a team again. They created the Mets. And you know why the Mets' colors are blue and orange? It's because the Dodgers and Giants had those primary colors, and that's how they made the Mets. Here's your replacement team because two went out west. But this was a totally different time in our nation's landscape, in sports landscape, in baseball's landscape, so don't think that this is necessarily on the table again. There's also the fact that expansion here in 2023 with Major League Baseball, it is super competitive. You've got places like Portland and now Salt Lake City and Montreal. They've all got these active groups that are trying to get Major League Baseball to come to their locations. They are well put together. They are actively pursuing this. Oakland definitely does not have this because, well, Oakland's had a team. There's been no need to have a group like this, a baseball project, the Portland Diamond Project, and what Salt Lake City has recently proposed. Like, they really want to throw their name in the hat to get one of the two expansion franchises. By the way, I'm not including Nashville in here because I think that's a sure thing. I think of the two expansion franchises that we're probably going to see in the 2020s, at some point in this decade, Nashville gets one. So really, we're talking about one spot here. Who gets the other expansion team? There's also this. No group in Oakland right now is ready to buy, ready to just jump right in the mix. There's no turnkey group in Oakland. Now, with that said, there is on the positive side an established market. There's an established fan base. There's like, you know, you absolutely know that if this were an opportunity all over again, it could work here. This is a big enough market. There's a big enough support system. This is a lucrative market. If, in fact, there was a turnkey group that was ready to expand. But again, I've seen the positive in this one side of it. I'm painting the bigger picture here that I understand the idea and the concept of relocation and expansion, but there's a lot of things going against this. There's also the fact that Oakland has already set out their best terms for Howard Terminal. We know Oakland's side. If somebody were to come in and say, all right, we're going to expand. We're going to be the expansion team in Oakland. Now you've got to work out a stadium deal in Oakland. And the good news is, I suppose, you could pick up in a lot of places where the A's would have left off, right? Because this did get negotiated quite far, like literally till the end. They are literally right around the corner from the end here. So for for good and maybe for bad, we know Oakland's side. We also know that Oakland, like a lot of places in California and the West Coast, they're not going to put public money into the project, as opposed to, I don't know, Nashville, Tennessee, where they just committed $1.2 billion of public money for a brand new football stadium. So you understand that if, in fact, there is expansion, The Oakland side of negotiations has already, I don't want to say shown shown their cards, but it is what it is. 
and maybe this isn't a bad thing that it's been negotiated that far, but you also know exactly what the deal is going to be in Oakland. Would Major League Baseball go for this deal as opposed to something easier? Right? Probably not. And it's all up to Major League Baseball when and whether and where they expand. You're also going to get probably no help at the Coliseum site. I mean, for example, if the A's were to actually physically leave town in 2025 and baseball said, okay, Oakland, you can have an expansion franchise. Do you think that the A's owning half this land, how does it play out? And I'm not saying they would interfere or impede, but how exactly does it go with the team owning half this site and the fact that you know, it's been poised and it's been designed now to be redeveloped for something bigger and better. Now we're only delaying the inevitable. We're kind of right back where we started in Oakland, that we're at the Coliseum still with a brand new team. Like, you just, you see how difficult this becomes. Again, I'm labeled and viewed as some eternal optimist in all this situation. I'm just trying to be real about it. And here's a case where I'm being very real about it. And I just do not see a path of how this would actually go. I understand the initial idea, but once you dive into these layers, it gets very complicated. There's also the fact that the A's have planned on taking their colors and their name of the athletics. They were one of the American League's founding franchises back at the beginning of the 1900s. And so the name has followed them from Philadelphia to Kansas City, now to Oakland. And if they go... It's been said that that name will go with them. So, look, there's been the Oakland Oaks before of different, you know, various, uh, I think a basketball team was named that, a professional baseball team was named that in the 1950s. Do you take on something new? Is it viewed the same way? I don't know. It's just, it's going to have, it's going to have a tough situation around it. It's not like in Cleveland where the football team left, but they didn't take the name Browns. And then a new team started up, and they're the Browns. And unless you go back in history, if you're a young kid right now, you don't really know that there were two different Cleveland Browns. I think that's also happened in Charlotte with the NBA's Hornets, if I'm correct. They left. They came back, but now they're called the Charlotte Hornets again. So this would not be that case or scenario in Oakland with the name A's. Also this, and it's been said, well, Let's put a minor league team, let's put a triple A team in Oakland to replace the A's. So this is not even the same conversation anymore, right? We're not talking about relocation and expansion. Now we're talking about relocation and adding something different to replace the void. It's my personal opinion, and let me know what you think about this, that a minor league baseball team in the city of Oakland just does not work for a couple different reasons. Number one, we're back at the venue problem. All right, a triple A team's not playing at the Coliseum. They need somewhere new. Where do you build that? How do you build it? How do you finance something that's not of the major league caliber, that's not going to return the income that's necessary for land? Like, it's, yeah, it's, just, it's a headache. But also from a simple personal perspective, like what's the message here? We took away your major league team, but here you go. Here's some minor league baseball. It's baseball. I get it. I just, I don't think that would flourish. I don't think that would be successful. I don't think this region, after having Major League Baseball for 50 plus years, I don't think there would be an appropriate appetite for minor league baseball. You know, like a read the room type situation. No disrespect to anywhere else, but how often does a city go from a major league town to a minor league town? So I don't think that one is really going to work. So there you go. There's the the details on if the A's relocate, what about expansion? My thoughts are, I, I get it. I hear you. I know where you're coming from. I uh, like the thought of it. It just, it seems super difficult. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please be civil. Come on. Thumbs up on the video since you watched here all the way to the end. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel so that I can see you next time.